how much uh, do you think you've spent in total on all your surgical procedures um, up to this point? I would say we're hitting about $200,000. My goal is to have world's biggest bum, and nothing is gonna stop me from achieving my goal. It's so good to know that my friends have my back through anything. It's just always good to have that friend reassurance, and especially for me, because I don't talk to too many people outside of my group. I don't want to be that, like, that woman, and I don't want to be that muscular man. I just want to be this alien. I want to be able to, like, turn people's heads. I want you to be terrified of me, but I also want you to think <laughs> I'm beautiful. Because that's what I'm attracted to in people. That, that what? Tell me what the gender alien. of an alien person would be. Like, the genitalia. Would you change that? Like, honestly. I, okay, so the reason why I call myself alien is because alien is never associated with sex. Mm -hmm. It's like genderless, it's sexless. And that's why I started saying alien. I like that. I went in also to see if actually I can just remove everything. <gasps> yeah, that, that was Literally one of the first Literally be things. genderless. Really just have like a nub and just not have any sex for the minute, rest of my a life. Nub. Like you can't even see, like it's, like it's like there's nothing there. Like, like a mannequin. This Thank bitch right here is about to change the world. Bigger is better. I've been slim and now I'm big and I will never, ever, ever be slim again. The bigger, the better. <laughs> My bum is like another dimension. I have broken chairs with my bar. I have broken beds. I have broken people with my bum. <laughs> I was born in Serbia and I moved to Sweden when I was 10 years old. I have always been different. And in Sweden, women think that the skinnier, more beautiful, but I think they need to see this is how real women should look. I started to go to the gym. The bum grew. At some point, it just stopped. So I decided to have surgeries. That's the start of everything. The doctor I pick, he knew what I wanna achieve. He told me that he can take my fat from my back, from my arms, inner thighs, and put it in my bum. After my first surgery, I was so happy. Six months later, I told him, you did a great job, but I wanna have more. And he was like, okay. <laughs> we planned the second surgery. I knew the more fat I have, the bigger bum is gonna be. So I decided to gain a lot of weight. I love to eat. I gained 20 kilos. And then I did the second surgery. Over the last four years, I have had three Brazilian butt lifts, one breast augmentation, and then I've done some fillers in my chin, my lips, and my cheekbones. That's not surgery, just complete your look. People came to me and told, are you a plus size model? So I was like, okay, do that. Right now, I work out three to four times a week. Everyone wanna be size zero, and I'm size 50. <laughs> Hello. Hi, doctor. Sandra, how are you? Terry Dubrow, nice it's to meet nice you. Hi, Dr. Nassau. Hi. The first thing I think is, yes, she is Jessica Rabbit. Can you hold my carrot? Of course. Oh, wow. Size does matter. I have to take off the jacket. It's so hot. OK. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Oh, here, can you hold that? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I'm fascinated with you because you're so amazing. Okay. I'm a cosmetic concoction. So you've obviously had various surgical procedures and experience with plastic surgery before, right? I would say the only thing I haven't had done is my heart. What have you had done? Facial feminization surgery. Have you had brow shaving? Yes, brow shave. Did they make an incision? They did. Unfold the yeah, face? Yeah, they unfolded thing, my huh? face. Yeah. I had my nose done. Yeah. I've had my lips done. I've had my cheeks done. And then I had two Adam's apple shaves. Right. I've had my breasts done, and then I had my hips done, my butt done, and then finally I had my Audi made into an innie. Yeah, no, no, oh, a, little, mean, a little the, the lower, other. <laughs> a little lower. Right, so that Audi. Sort of, I used that to be Audi. Roger. Yeah, 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 that Audi. Yeah, that I, Audi. I get you. Cassandra's really beautiful and really does actually look a lot like Jessica Rabbit. The fact that she's transgender just goes to show you how far she's come. Let me ask you a question. How much uh, do you think you've spent in total on all your surgical procedures um, up to this point? I would say we're hitting about $200,000. Wow. For sure. All in. Beauty is power, doctor. Right. That's what I learned a long time ago, and that's why I strive for the best. 